stability which they do use in bypass air from the F-135 engine and this all means also that this aircraft can operate in very very strong winds
think it's up, it's still around about 2,000 feet. Uh, probably requiring about 3,500 feet to complete that bridge. He's back in 2018 with number 617 squadron, the famous Hackbusters, became the first frontline British F 35B unit in its first four aircraft, arrived at Marham. Now what we should be seeing next is the aircraft turning back in down the runway centre line and when it gets to display centre, the F-35B will initiate what's known as a down-range travel stop. This is a manoeuvre that's used in dogfighting to arrest the aircraft's forward motion in an attempt to flush a hostile aeroplane out in front. F-35B is on the deck, the pilot will do what the community around the F-35 calls a trundle short takeoff. This wasn't something I've heard of before, something I've never heard of. 
And they said this is used when there's no concrete and you need as short a takeoff distance as possible. So we'll see the pilot bring the engine up to 34% thrust and release the brakes. And at a certain point, he'll select the throttle to military power and rotate when the engine responds. And it means the F-35B can take off in as little as 460 feet. And this is the only public air show this year where I think we'll see this being performed because I think of all the other venues the aircraft is flying at in a public display as opposed to, a, say, Family's Day events. The runway isn't suitable for this to be done. Absolutely, and that was absolutely the case at uh, Cosford.